Moving a little further down, gastric cancer. Uh, there's four types, four main types, but adenocarcinoma is the overwhelming majority of them, uh, which can be intestinal or diffuse. The diffuse type is the bad one. This is uh, what can call, cause the lenitis plastica, thickening of the stomach, signet ring cells, high risk for metastases. Um, the main risk factors for gastric adenocarcinoma, chronic irritation of the stomach. That's how I think of it. So H. pylori infection, atrophic gastritis, pernicious anemia, and there's some genetics component with, with Lynch and others as well. Um, and then there are other types are, are much more rare, but just be aware that they exist, including neuroendocrine and GI stromal tumors. There is this strange sort of perineoplastic phenomenon that gastric cancer can do called acanthosis nigricans. Um, these are sort of hyperpigmented velvety plaques or patches uh, in the intertrigonous areas like in the axilla. Sometimes you see it in diabetics. If they show you this in a patient that has some weight loss and abdominal pain, think about gastric cancer, acanthosis, nigricans. We use the conventional TNM staging with CT scans and endoscopic ultrasound to help guide us. And like with most cancers, early stage surgery, locally advanced radiation and chemotherapy, distant metastases, systemic drug therapy. General rules, right? They, they, that should just make sense to you right now. Um, and, and like with most cancers, prognosis is tied into stage at diagnosis. Neuroendocrine, tam neuroendocrine tumors of the stomach are rare, but often occur with chronic hypergastrinemic states, such as autoimmune gastritis or pernicious anemia. This is where we see Zollinger-Ellison syndrome come in, which can cause type 2 uh, NETs. And then there is a rare type 3 NET, which is the most aggressive and is not associated with a hypergastrinemic state. So gastric neuroendocrine tumors. Think about this. If, if I were to ask you to remember one thing here, it's uh, autoimmune gastritis, chronic antigenic stimulation of the stomach. 